So if he's the tall woodland deck, he doesn't really have interaction for us, right? It's just going to be whether our plan is big enough to beat his. I have Lippy, I have access to Coral on red. Unfortunately, the Morkbarg's in my hand, so my Lippy is going to be only 6 tempo. Jam Witchers, I guess. Witchers this turn, Avalok next turn, Decree Coral the following. It's not the, the way that was supposed to go, but that's fine. Ideally, the one point went to the Necker and the two point went to the Rider. But I'll take it. Okay, now we just got to chain Coral. Pitch this. Pitch this. You want to find Burna? Nope. That's not good. new YouTube guide for this deck. Uh, I've played three games with this deck. We'll see. They might be like a highlights thing like I did with a few other decks. I don't know if I'll go full on a guide. But it's Coral. Or Burn Up. Flippy Res Burn Up. Then I can't win another round. My deck will be this pile. There they are. So he passes, and I'm going to have to play Lippy, and that's fine. Oh no, this could be bad. He doesn't pass. Okay, so we get to Lippy, and now we're probably fine. I'm not sure what he can do now. I think we're just solidly up two cards. Okay, we found the Renew. Alright, all right. let's discard. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have done it that way. Now I can't can be without pitching Renew. I mean, maybe that's fine. It's just not ideal. But yeah, I definitely did this wrong. Yeah, he was cool. If we draw multiple witchers, we could be screwed. There we go. That's good. It's going to have fork tail. Well, that was fun.